choice. Rethink. Your life, your choice. Rethink. 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 Your life, your choice. Rethink. Your life. Rethink. Your choice. Rethink. Rethink. Your life, your choice. Rethink. Rethink. Your life, your choice. Rethink. 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 Your life, your choice. We have a most healthy living partnership. Hello and welcome to Rethink, Winnebago's Healthy Living Partnership. My name is Lisa Lang and I will serve as your host today and I'm joined by two members of our coalition. Today I'm joined by Barry Busby, Winnebago's County Coroner and also later we will hear from Town of Menasha Police Department Officer Jason Weber who serves as the Community Liaison Officer. Um, both members are here today to address a very important issue and a very serious one with imminent danger, drug addiction, drug abuse in Winnebago County. So with that, thanks Barry for being here with us today. It's my pleasure. Hi. So Barry, before we get interested and in, involved in some of these um, statistics, tell us a little bit about how you, the Winnebago County Coroner, came to be involved. It's been about three years now. How do you serve Rethink? I've been involved in prevention for years and involved suicide prevention and now when Rethink started, I started on a leadership committee, and then I've served as a co-chairman of the advocacy committee, still involved in the alcohol and drug coalitions. Great. And so we know that the advocacy and the policy development is, is very key, and also even to be um, associated with a statewide network. Um, and we know that you stand in that role. Tell us about the, um, the group at the state level that you fill the gap for. I've been on the alcohol committee. Uh, on the original ACE report, the drug prescription report. Now I'm on the uh, Good Samaritan Law. We're changing some items on that. I'm on the Leadership Committee on Alcohol Abuse for the State of Wisconsin and also on Preventative Medicine. Um, uh, I also serve on the Lion's Eye Bank. Okay, well we certainly appreciate you as a member in bringing that from a state level down to Winnebago County. We hear as a coalition so many times that we are in the forefront and doing some of these um, recommended or evidence-based things and it's with members' help that we can do it. That's what makes it possible. So tell us a little bit then, let's get into it with the drug, um, the drug abuse that you're seeing. What is the urgency right now? The number of deaths, the number of near deaths are staggering. Uh, the deaths started many years ago when I became coroner 15 years ago. We averaged five for the first five years. And then it's just jumped up to about 15 to 16. After that, last year we had 19 by the end of June. Police department made a large rest, arrest on uh, heroin and cocaine dealers. 48 people were arrested. Our numbers dropped off to five for the rest of the year. So we still had 24, which is 50% higher than previous years. The key is that law enforcement does make a difference in enforcement. You can see by the numbers it dropped off. Unfortunately, this year it's taken off again, and we've had nine at the end of March, and already this month we have five more, so we're at 14 for the year, which if on the pace, we're going to be at about 40, 40 plus for the year. Okay, and we have a slide here that shows our audience viewing it, the overdoses in Winnebago County. And the definition of overdose then is the abuse of drugs? No, it's the, the overdose that I'm talking about are the deaths that are involved in drugs. Okay, so this isn't the overdoses, the people taking the ER, this doesn't even include those. This oh, is the fatal. there's fatals. hundreds and hundreds of people that go, in fact, by the number of ca cases of Narcan, or Nalox, Naloxone or Narcan, which are near death. Okay, and we'll get to that slide next. Um, here, use of Narcan for near death experience. So then this is the, um, the ingredient that is used by EMT staff to kind of bring somebody back who is on their way to an overdose? People are usually unconscious when they are uh, administered this drug and Narcan is a, it stops the heroin from, at the time, it, it reverses the effect of heroin right then. Now, most of these people that you see out of the 130 did survive and get to the hospital and for treatment. Okay. But there are other cases where there's needle exchanges that are involved and hospitals that administer this Narcan. So there's more than 130 near-death experiences in Winnebago County last year. But right now we're on a pace for 200 already for this next year. So that's with higher death rates of upwards of towards 40-ish, two, three times higher than ever. and seeing heroin at the level that it is, I know that we've got five cases already 
in heroin. Hmm. And there's... You know, that's so rare, Barry. People, you know, years ago, you would hear about the most threatening drug was those hard street drugs. It was the cocaine. That was the most threatening drug to the county. And now heroin. Are you surprised by that? Um, it's very alarming. Um, but we've never seen in 15 years, we've never seen this number of heroin and, and, and opiate type deaths, you know, okay. street drugs. It was prescription drug abuse for a lot of years, but now it's street drugs because of the cost factor. Because this is cheaper and gives that same sort of high. Um, and I know that you were, you've shared with us data um, that has provided a trend from 2011 to 2012 and beyond. How do we rank out according to other counties, if you know, um, when you sit and talk to other um, coroners or you're on that state level, how are other counties struggling with this problem? Same way we are. It's, it's just a huge problem right now. I, Green Bay, Brown County's got a heroin problem. Uh, I, I'm sure, I know Milwaukee does because oh. of the uh, sure. needle exchanges that are done. They talk about over a million needle okay. exchanges over this We're period. We're kind of in the same boat there. What do you want citizens to do? Um, if you had to give just a, a couple, the top three things, what somebody watching this today, what can they do to help? Number one, I think we have to tell our children that it's not proper to smoke, drink alcohol and abuse, and uh, avoid marijuana. Those are gateway drugs that start us in, start people into the direction of harder stuff, next to prescription drugs and then to street drugs and mm -hmm. stuff. So the, the avoidance of drugs, number one. Number two, if um, you can text, I got you, I-G-O-T-C-H-A, and it'll go to Crime Stoppers. Okay. And you can also call Crime Stoppers, and you'll sure. give that number, I believe. Yeah, they have the 1-800 the Crime Stoppers, and that goes to the countywide Crime Stoppers. Also, they have the website yet, and also um, the I gotcha is what we're really trying to push for people to use now. So. Well, and my feeling is that if you have a family member or a friend, um, you want to take action. Get that person help. I would hope you'd rather have your friend mad at you for intervening than having that person dead or maybe incapacitated and then or death. It's a difficult subject matter. Sometimes I know people will tiptoe around it and it's so-and-so in their family or somebody has an issue and um, the intervention is slow coming because people don't want to address it. But you would say? I would say that I would rather have somebody mad at me than have that person dead and not have acted. If I don't act and help somebody and that person dies, I'm going to feel awful bad. Mm -hmm. And, and the drugs that are out there right now and the level is, that's coming through are very severe and people are dying and, and it's surprising. Well, heroin is, in, in itself is not like a pill that has 25 milligrams. Heroin can be either pure in 100% pure heroin or it can be cut several different ways. The people taking heroin, doesn't, they don't have an idea of which strength they're getting. So it can be very d deadly. Very risky, like many of the drugs that we see. Thank you, Barry, for sharing the data with us. Thank you for your efforts on our community coalition, and we're better for it. I'm glad to see you here today. I would imagine some people aren't happy to see the corner coming, um, but this is ways that we can get out to the community and say, you know, avoid the whole thing um, altogether, and you can lead a, a more healthy quality life. But. I would hope that uh, the, families that ha the families that have already experienced this loss I would hope that we can eliminate some of that down the line so families don't have the pain right. and have to go through what the families are already going through. Right. Thank you for being here today. With that, we'd like our viewers to stay tuned because next we are going to watch a short video um, that we made in prevention and you'll see some familiar faces there. We wanted you to see in the field, behind the scenes, what prevention specialists and some community leaders are up against and the social norms, so to speak, that we hear every day.